Swallow showed up last year and we thought, of course you come back when there's <laughs> nobody here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, they do come back and I just want to make sure you know they're out in the Capistrano Valley right along the creek bed, darting and dipping and diving and eating their little bugs in the morning and in the evening. With urbanization and development, they've gotten a little sidetracked with new buildings and construction. But the old mission is so grateful as a landmark to have these avian ambassadors because if we didn't have the birds in the 1930s, guess what? Nobody would ever come here from the 20th century because all there's 21 missions. Why would they come to this one? And now we have those little birds to thank because they helped us put a tradition on the world stage to celebrate in the Catholic Church, St. Joseph's Day, but for everybody to celebrate a homecoming. I bet a lot of you have had a tough year this year. I bet you've missed your grandchildren and your family members. And so it's like a reunion for our landmark to be able to open the doors, even if we're still kind of in a pandemic and we have to take it seriously. So my name is Michelle Lawrence Adams and I have the privilege and honor of being the executive director here. And today marks a new chapter of history for us because we've never done a virtual St. Joseph's Day before. <laughs> So to all of our friends out there that are watching us from a live stream, the students on film on the other side of our live tours, welcome to you and your class. You know, you are the very first classrooms to ever see St. Joseph's Day virtually. And you are joining 28,000 students this year that are going to visit the mission virtually. And I can't wait for you to actually come here on site and get on our website and get your free fourth grade voucher so that you can come in as a student and not have to pay admission and join us. For all of you that chose to come here, and especially the little ones here, thank you for coming and being here and, and joining us on this great day. So to get the day started, we're going to go ahead and have a wonderful performer sing the national anthem for us, because part of our California history and our mission history is American history. And so I hope you'll welcome to this little platform here, Darren Hunting, who is our official national anthem singer for all of us. Here he is. Yay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the whole gift for you, Darren. Stephanie's going to make sure and get it to you. Don't you wish you could just come on stage and sing like that? I can't yeah. even hum like that. He's just so spectacular. Well, I want to talk a little bit with you as we get ready for our bell ringing to talk about how we continue to evolve and change as a, as a historic landmark. You know, we were built over 246 years ago by our Native American indigenous people. And today we celebrate their history interwoven with the building of the mission all the way to today. We still have indigenous people that are part of, very much very part of this mission. And we are celebrating their contributions as well as we celebrate the founding of the mission system and Father Sarah and his legacy in the California missions. And we celebrate the people in the 1800s that came and bought the mission and took care of it and gave it back to the Catholic Church with Abraham Lincoln's work. 
and we celebrate the people in 1910, Father O'Sullivan, who's buried on these grounds, who saw a new vision and hope in this mission and worked to restore it and build the school. And today the school children are doing their dances in celebration of St. Joseph's Day at the Mission School, which is the Basilica School now. So you see, history continues to evolve and change. And here at the mission, it's not a choose this or that kind of proposition. Here at the mission, we celebrate our diverse history, our diverse people, our military veterans, our students in the future, our people who are at the ends of their days coming here to find hope and inspiration in the chapel, on the grounds, in the gardens, and to visit St. Peregrine when they have cancer. So a California landmark isn't just one thing. It's the promise of what the people are. And so as you coming here today and making that choice, what you're saying to us is that you affirm our effort to be aspirational and inspirational and to recognize the contributions of everybody who have helped make this California mission the jewel of the California mission. I'm so honored today because I've grown too over the years and I've come to realize that we just aren't going to be able to sustain and survive without the support of an engaged community. This last year devastated our finances. We were 250,000, then a million, then two million, three million in the negative. And it was just so hard to figure out how to go ahead and rise and take that opportunity, and we all did it. And so today is kind of that exclamation point at the very end of a very rough year to say that the future is bright and that we have to stand strong. And places like this are necessary during pandemics and difficult times. We need places to go that instill in us a sense of hope and an opportunity for the future. And I can't think of two better people, I say this to you students virtually and here today, I can't think of two better people to ring the bells, both indigenous, a Hashman, Native American, both have worked here at the mission. Michael, to my left, your right, or your left, my right, he is celebrating 40 years as a bell ringer today. Talk about inspirational. And he does it with joy in his heart, and he has a fun personality, and sometimes he gets a little cranky at me. But most of the time, he's a very good friend, and all of the time, he's a very good friend and steward of the mission. So congratulations, Michael. We have a little gift for you, too. But we're just so honored to have him to represent the indigenous roots that built this mission. You know, every stone in that ruins behind us in the church was built by a Native American person who became a baptized Catholic. And in the day of 1812, December 8th, the earthquake fell and killed 40 people at mass. And so they perished under the weight of their own efforts. And we need to take a moment to respect that. And then we have our younger bell ringer, Nathan. He's been ringing the bells for almost 10 years. He also a historic mission employee in the, in the past. Now he has another career, but he always comes home and brings one or two or many of his family members. Of course, one thing I've learned about the indigenous people is that they have a lot of family members <laughs> and uh, you never know how many are gonna come. So it's exciting to have Nathan here and we celebrate his roots and his contributions uh, to the continuing building of this mission. So fellas, would you mind getting us going and do maybe two cycles of incredible bell ringing and to our students? out there in virtual world, enjoy. And to you today, take part.
Way to go. It's very special. You don't push a remote control around here. It's the real deal. We are going to ask everybody to respect and abide by our social distancing requirements today. We're the only mission in the state of California that's open, and uh, we want to stay open. So I brought my mask, and I'm going to show all the kids, make sure, little kiddos, to watch those parents. And we're going to wear our masks over our nose, not under our nose, because i got a lot of staff that are not vaccinated. They just want to make sure they stay safe. So if you'll help us out today, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, here's what we say at the mission after a wonderful opportunity. Vaya con Dios, go with God. Thank you for being here today. Enjoy the mission. Thank you.